Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take Lightroom 4 and show you how to use the gradient tool. I'm going to give you two examples of how you can effectively use this particular option in Lightroom 4. Let's go ahead and reset this picture of my wonderful garage that I took and I had my flash set at an angle and I was trying to bounce it and as you can see right here it bounced off the top and none of the light spilled over on the bottom. So here's a quick and easy way to fix that lighting problem. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click the graduated filter right there and then we're going to drag up from the bottom until we get to about the area where it's light right there. And then we're going to make some adjustments here Probably the best one is exposure right there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to lighten that up. Now we don't want to lighten it up too much and as you can see there's kind of a dark shadow in the middle. So what we can do is we can grab this little black dot right there and we can tr keep dragging this all the way up till we hit about the top where the light actually is there. And as we can see that is a quick fix to any kind of flash problems that you get when you might be trying to bounce the flash. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example that I have over here. I'm going to go ahead and reset this picture and show you what it looked like with the highlights all blown out on this nice picture of this bridge. Now, one thing that we can do is we could go ahead and choose the graduated filter, drag it from the top, and try to give the sky a little bit more oomph to it. So let's go ahead and do that. If you hold down the shift key, it will make straight gradients right there. You won't be able to move it in a diagonal fashion. But if you let go of it, as you can see here, we can kind of put it as a little bit of a diagonal right there. Now, once you put the gradient there, you get this little box right here where you can make your adjustments. Now, if we use the exposure and try and take the exposure down, it's going to look very unnatural. So try not to put too much negative exposure. You can do just a little bit, but it's not going to look very natural. The next thing that we could try is the highlight slider. We could try to bring that back. The problem with the real blown out skies is the fact that you really can't bring a whole lot back with it. The other thing that you notice is as a graduated filter from the top, this has the most effect and as it's going down to the bottom, it has a less effect to it. So if you want to grab that black dot right there and drag that down, it is still a gradient, but it's going to fade into nothingness when we get down to that bottom. And as you can see, a little bit of the sky came back. Now I can tell you that the clarity will bring some of the clouds, but we can't get all of it back because it's just too blown out. Even if I bring that clarity all the way over you can see some of the detail in the sky right there but pretty much this image is gone. I can add just a little bit more on the saturation to bring those clouds a little bit bluer but that's about all we have. Now there is one other thing that we could do to this particular photo and that is to bring some of the colors back by coming over here. Some of these that are kind of brown gray we could make those a little bit more blue by clicking on this color right over here and then picking one of these colors now if we want it to be a little bit more blue as you can see sky turned a little bit bluer now if we wanted to make that just a little bit warmer we could go ahead and put a little bit more cyan kind of push it towards the green and as you can see uh, that looks terrible well let's go ahead and go back to a little bit more sky as you can see that gives it just a little bit warmer and as we push it over here into the darker side of the blue it gives it a little bit cooler feel to that particular photo. So I hope you enjoyed that. That is the gradient tool right here, this gradient filter that we can use in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 4. My name is Chucky. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. Give me an example of what you want me to do with a new tutorial. Give me a like and share my videos with your friends. Cheers!